Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Niasia, back with another video. And this video is about having multiple streams of income. So, everybody knows that that's an important factor. Well, most people know that that's an important factor into surviving in this system, right? Um, <clears throat> we've been taught to, you know, work have that nine to five rat race, you know. And the thing about the job thing, it's like we, we, we haven't been taught to conquer the job thing. So it's always like a, what we fall back to because it's subconsciously, um, they teach us that this is it. This is the way, this is the only way, this is the only path. But it's not really smart to have just one source of income. I was talking to a customer um, at my job. I hate saying my job because it's not my job. It's the job that I work at. It's, it's not something I own. <laughs> but anyway, um, and the customer was stating that it's just smart to have multiple streams of income. And the thing is, once you decide on doing something like selling something like on eBay, Amazon, I mean, there's Etsy, there's different outlets to sell things on. That don't necessarily have to be your means to an end. You know, that could just be something that you do in the meantime until you discover what kind of um, path you want to take. Like it might, your end result might be, okay, well, I need enough money to fund my real estate because that's my passion or something like that for example but the thing is we can't just talk about it and keep saying that when the time is right I'm gonna go for this I'm gonna go to go for that we should have like little steps and little goals towards you know whatever we feel passionate about I think that is so important for people to be somewhere where they're passionate because I feel like as a human I, I know we come we come down here to experience certain things but I feel like it's such a waste if we don't experience what we're passionate about you know because then there's much more happier people and a lot less trolls people hating on people because they're so focused on other people's success calling them you know Illuminati and stuff because they're unhappy you know with their own lives and I hate to judge and I'm, I'm hoping I'm hoping this is not coming across offensive because that's not my intention I just think when you start judging other people's lifestyles it's because you're not happy with your own because your focus and your attention is on somebody else's and and your focus should be on your passion, your goals, your family, and how to make your life better. You, you know that's like happy people are not talking about other people. You know, they're not like concerned about what everybody else is doing. They're more concerned about their path, their passion, their family, bettering themselves. You know, eating healthy, exercising, encouraging people to live their passion. Because if we have more people doing that, living their passion, it, it'll be such a, such a happier state. Such a happier state of mind with people, you know. Um, but I don't want to, like, get off the point because sometimes I do that. So... Having multiple streams of income, yes, that's what we're talking about today. So, me and my husband talk about this all the time, Cliff Mega, um, and he he's like, okay, we should like definitely do something online. This way, it gives us a chance to have more freedom to do other things. Now, see, that is a good goal, like you know, because you don't want to be held down to any one particular thing. You want to be able to get up and move when you get inspired, right? You don't want to just be so stagnant because <clears throat> you have a business that you have to 
tend to. But some people like that. Like some people like, <clears throat> excuse me. Some people like the fact that they come to a brick and mortar and it's their own business and they're dedicating all this time to it and stuff like that. But that's not me. Like I like freedom. Freedom to decide, freedom to be creative. If I don't want to come in, don't come in. And I want a business that works automatically without me being involved. So my thing was always, okay, who can I hire? What smart person can I hire to take care of the business? And if you've read a lot of books like I have on self-improvement, entrepreneurship, um, financial success, financial freedom, um, spirituality, I read so many books on that. And they all have a lot of things in common. Um, and that is, you want a business that can take care of itself. So you can move on to the next creative aspiration. You don't never want to be tied down. And if you look at all the successful businessmen and businesswomen, you see that they have businesses that they don't have to personally get involved in. And not to take away from entrepreneurs that are self-involved um, and put my focus on big business men and women, but if that's you know if that's your path of entrepreneurship, I love entrepreneurs. I think they give us variety and they inspire us to be even more creative. And I we definitely need that. But for me, you know, I like my husband would say. Um, you like to collect the money. I like to collect the money and I like to give out jobs because a lot of people that I run into, their focus is jobs, you know what I'm saying? And when you try to spark that aspiration of something different, they don't see that, you know? And then I just think, well, maybe some people are just really meant to work because if we didn't have workers, you know, um, how would things go? Even though I think that even without workers, things would go great because if you think about it, they had apprenticeships and they had a lot of entrepreneurs like centuries ago and stuff like that and things still worked smoothly. Things still worked great. Even before like they had the money system where they had bartering and stuff like that and the system was still good. So I can never say one way is the best way or, you know, um, it wouldn't work without these people or that people or that system or this system because there's always room for more systems and there's always room for more creativity and there's always room for more entrepreneurs there's always room for more workers so it's always about like what what do you want to do like don't die with a dream still inside of you like oh i wish that i would have done this you know I wish that I would have pursued my dreams and my goals and stuff like that because it's something inside of you inside of you that you came to do to inspire the world to be better right so use that aspiration use that passion to make the world better you know even if you just love your job still you know um, you don't have control over it so you want to have another source so you don't be like in a situation where it's not you know a good good look you know so let me know what sort of multiple streams of income you guys are looking into i'm looking into real estate and it's not something you can get into right away if you don't have certain things um i'm also looking into like online businesses um if you've been following me and my husband, you know you know that I used to have a brick and mortar dance studio in New York um, that I've done. And I'm thinking of doing some so many other different things that might include a brick and mortar and, and as that nature and selling online again, which I did sell online for a little bit um, on eBay. But I'm looking to get back into having multiple streams. And look, I mean, who doesn't want extra money to vacation or just do what you want and stuff like that? I know I do. But like I said, guys, subscribe for more videos and let me know what are some of your different ideas for multiple streams of income. And I'm not talking about like, oh, give me your ideas. 
I'm talking about like, have you thought about like something else besides your job? All right, guys. Thank you for watching or listening because it's the sky. <laughs> um, I love you guys and I'm so appreciative of your viewership and all of you guys that have been commenting on the videos. I'm going to get back to you. Me and my husband, we're going to respond. We've just been a little, um, trying to get things situated with the house and different things. We'll, we'll let you know about, okay? But we will we, we spot, okay? All right, guys. Peace out.